Hey, yo guys, how you doing? It's Amy Blue Sky. I hope you're doing well. It's the new year. Yay! Happy 2021. Let's hope it's happy. Better. Let's hope it's not as interesting as last year. <laughs> Something really cool that happened this last couple seasons that I wanted to share with you guys. And it has to do with Minecraft server, community, community development, and spawn. I've been playing on this server, on the BWO Patreon server, with uh, pretty much the same group of people for the last five years, more than five years now, which I guess is pretty amazing for a long, it's a long running server now. Original people, some of them have, don't come on very often anymore and we're continuing to get new people. That's great, it's been a great community. Otherwise, obviously I wouldn't have been here that long. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fantastic uh, group of people and the server is very relaxed. We've gotten to know each other and our build styles over the years. And when new people come in, they're welcome into the fold. So an interesting development, I guess, that happens when you play with the same group of people for a long time. You make friends, you get to know each other, you get relaxed with each other. And it's interesting to see how that has reflected in Spawn. So obviously a lot of us like BWO style and um, B-dubs and we follow him and we like what he's doing. And we're here to support what he's doing and we're here to support each other. So. A lot of the styles reflect that. We first season B double O built a castle and then we built around it and we built a fantastic town around it. I think a lot of people really liked it and we had some community builds that people really liked as well. There were there was a lot of enthusiasm, right? In the first year. Of course there's always more enthusiasm at the beginning. <laughs> then the second year, second season, we decided to we wanted to have a castle again and we decided to have a contest and that worked out great and that worked okay that was pretty nice too but what happened i feel like is that year people kind of just took off right yeah that's how we do in minecraft took off into other parts of the world and spent time building in other places and not much happened at spawn so not that it wasn't nice it just wasn't much going on so the third year we decided to, we said, hey, let's stick to around spawn. Let's stick together and try to build something and spawn, each of us, together. Um, while we also go and do our own stuff. That is when things kind of started to change a little bit. Somebody built a really cool build, Tigui, near spawn. And then somebody else took some inspiration from that. And we talked about kind of general ideas, themes that we might like to have. Start out with a boardwalk theme. Season three, that was the, um, the ocean update, right? And so people built underwater and we built a boardwalk along the coast. And we kind of ended up with sort of a Mediterranean mixed theme, right? So, so that was, an, that was, but that was the beginning of when we started feeding off each other's builds, I think. Season four was amazing. As far as spawn goes, we said, it's like we took that to the next and the next level, the next step. The mods, we requested that people, you know, put a build, make sure you put a build in spawn town <laughs> and then, you know, go do your stuff or whatever. Right? It's pretty hard to do that because um, in the beginning, you don't have any supplies or whatever. So there's no like specific theme presented. It just... It was incredible. This is, let me show you. This is uh, Spawn Town number four. It was very organic. There was nothing planned, right? Everybody just started building. And that's when I started to see, it's like, wow, we just really work well together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> without any like overt direction or you have to do it this way, you have to do it that way. Um, you know, somebody would like something about this particular build. They really admired that and they would build something else um, that maybe had some similar elements or something that they wanted to try. And so it would go on from there. And, and it worked really well organically. The town, I mean, sure, we didn't have like straight streets. It was kind of hard to find things, but it's really a wonderful little spawn. Now that's happening in season five as well. And I'll show you that, but the, um, we decided to, the only thing we did was to separate out the districts. So, because we decided that last time we had our farms, the community farms, the industrial farms, automated farms were too close to spawn and they were causing lagging. So let's, we said, okay, let's move those further away, not too far away, but far enough away that it's not going to cause a lot of lagging because they're going to be running all the time. And then I think some of us were really inspired. We liked what Hermitcraft has been doing with their shopping district. So... 
we created a shopping district. And again, no rules. This is a shopping district. And build how you like and maybe hear some ideas. And it's turned out beautifully. And I'm I'm so pleased. I'm so um I just love it. It's fantastic. I love how people are working together and building these really cool things and feeding off each other, complimenting each other, trying different things, and yet trying to build together. Building their own stuff, but building together. It's really cool development. Oh, hi, Creeper. Uh, bombing my video shoots. Anyway, where was I telling the story? <laughs> Buying it.